Good day, YouTube. If you're like me, you've received some music CDs for Christmas and you're looking to rip them to the MP3 format on your Linux Mint. So I'll just quickly show you guys how to do such a task and also install the application as well. Now, the name of that app in particular is called Ripper X. So I'll just load that one up. Now, of course, you need the CD in the CD drive of your machine, and you can see that the CD is being picked up by the application because I've got 13 tracks there. So I'll select all those tracks to copy. I'll put in the artist name. In this case, I'll just do artist one. I'll put in the album name as well, artist one as well, make it 2015, select all tracks. Also, there's a couple of configuration changes to make. So make sure you've got the target directory for the WAV file and MP3 file, as you can make it the same thing. I've made it, set it to this CD file right here, so that's fine. Make sure that both of these options are ticked. Go across to the MP3 tab, make sure that you've got the lame MP3 encoder selected. That's personal preference, but keep to that if you like. Now choose the bitrate, so the quality of the MP3, 320. Now keep everything else as default, click OK, and let's run. So click Go. Now I'll just give that a few moments, I'll pause the video, and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, encoding complete, let's have a look, click out of that, just move that down, go to the original CD file it exported to, album 1, click on this, and go. So yep, I can hear that, I don't know about you guys, uh, probably not, it's coming through a different feed, but that's fine, so that's about that there. Now, last but not least, or you could say part 2 of the video, is to show you guys how to install it. So, first of all, go to a terminal or just tap Control alt t and type in the following, which is sudo apt install ripper x and also space lame for the lame encoder. Do a space dash y just to automate the install. Hit enter, throw in your password and install away. From that point, of course mine's already installed as you can see, but from that point you'll be able to just access it from the applications menu there, ripper x. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. I hope this is, uh, yeah, just doing you well. So cheers.